So we're now ready for part two, guys. So the first part, uh, we did our unique snippet of uh, content that adds a little bit of value. We did our hot videos on how to do link building. We embedded them in there, and then we started embedding our blog posts. So I'm just going to continue finishing embedding a couple more blog posts, and then um, I'll be able to finish everything and then wrap it up and then explain why this is actually a good way to create content that gets traffic and it's also a good way to create backlinks which surprised me I didn't really anticipate this as being a benefit of using this shortcut to content creation but it actually surprisingly um, allowed me to get a lot of fairly high quality backlinks and some of them even have pretty good PR which is the most valuable backlinks you can get uh, so let's see a couple more ones here I think we've done like seven or something like that. Then we can go to Twitter. And so we get some Twitter posts in here. Unconventional. Okay, so we got those. We got everything in there. Then I just sort of, uh, you can see here, I just do a little header tags here, videos and blog posts. And the reason why I do that is just to make it more user friendly. If if I didn't have this here, then it would look a bit more scram like a scrambled mess. It's already not like the most high quality page, but for five minutes of work, it's it's a decent resource for how little time it takes to create. So I'll do a header one tag on the videos one because that's the most important one because the videos are minutes long and they can keep visitors on a page for a long period of time which is good for your web page rankings and authority, I like to bring attention to those because that's really how you uh, keep the visitor coming and actually help some of your Google metrics for, for ranking. These ones I'll do an H2 tag. Twitter posts on building backlinks just to switch it up. And even some marketers here, I'm going to do the H2 tag. If you wanted to optimize even more, you can underline the part you want to rank for. Um, some marketers recommend this. Some, or you can do italics too. Some marketers recommend this for optimization. I don't like to go too crazy on this kind of stuff because you've already got so many videos that are optimized for the type of content that you're looking for and you don't want to get an over optimization penalty which could hurt you and at the bottom I just like to create a bit more um, unique content so I hope this page on was a valuable resource for you the link building videos in particular helped me out a lot when I started trying to build authority to my websites. And if you're even more lazy than that, which I oftentimes am, I'll even just use the best spinner to create some unique content for me. And I guess I would never want to create really low, crappy, quality spun content at the top of my page because this is what viewers will read. I mean, this isn't good content anyways, but I would never have, like, spun garbage here. It's because um, it's very, very few visitors are actually going to make it through all the videos, all the blog posts, all the Twitter posts, and then actually come down here and read this last section. So it's more just for a little added uniqueness and a little bit added content and words per links. 
So, if, um, like I said, if I was lazy, I'd take uh, an eZine Articles post on link building. Just a few paragraphs, maybe, something like that. And I would spin selected, auto select synonyms, or replace everyone's favorites. Uh, say we'll do this one. And then I would use the option to remove original word from all spins. And I just get one spun version. I'd take one that looks decent, copy it to clipboard, and paste it in. So there we go, a bit more unique content that's relevant to what I'm looking for. And then I would publish, view the post, and there you guys go can make a little bit of changes here but as you can see we were able to create this post on link building in very little time if I wasn't using this video to explain how I did it I could probably do this in about five minutes and the really cool thing is I found is that Google loves these pages because I think the main reason is because your reference you have backlinks external links because external links to high authority sites like SEO Moz actually boost your rankings and show to Google that you are willing to reference high quality sites for your niche so I think this helps a lot and I also think the fact that people are on videos for minutes at a time will boost the amount of time they spend on your web page which also boosts your rankings so whatever, for whatever reason this formula seems to be what's working for Google rankings for simple blog posts and the beautiful thing is that if you wanted to buy a page of decent content it would cost you quite a bit of money per page I mean I've spent 30 to 50 bucks on a blog post before and they don't get as much traffic as this these kinds of posts do so um, definitely a really cool tool the curation soft for the bang for buck the amount of of value you get for the price is pretty amazing to be honest and now I'm going to tell you about the backlinks that I've gotten from it because I don't know if you've noticed but in your WordPress you get what's called pingbacks when when someone uh, when someone backlinks to you it gives you the option on the WordPress panel here that it'll pop up and say you received a pingback and um, it'll ask, see, this is one right here, so I got a ping back from this page uh, to my Tools for SEO page that I created and it'll tell you whether you want to approve this ping back and if you approve it you're basically sending a backlink from your site back to the site that's backlinking you so the, the idea, the reason why Google created it is that so you could boost value to pages that are linking to you and also kind of a thank you sort of a thing for linking to, linking to me sort of a thing and that's that's the idea with this is that anytime you're backlinking to a WordPress site like if this is a WordPress site for example and they get a ping back and they approve it they actually send a backlink back to your website so it's pretty darn cool so you would basically get from these pages that you're linking to you would basically get a, a backlink back but a lot of the times these pages have good authority to them and good page rank uh, this one doesn't look like it does, but some of them do. And when they backlink back to you, it actually gives you a lot of authority for your web page. So the, just this dragging and dropping of posts actually can be your backlink building or can actually play a fairly large role in the authority that you get to your website. And it literally takes seconds to drag and drop these from utility poster into your source box. So, I mean, this is just a win 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 for content for tr traffic for saving money on outsourcing for backlink building everything so